Kara Gray here, back at the June Lup Resort, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three big errors that you might be making that's causing you to struggle around the greens. Let's get into it. Now, without a doubt, one of my favorite areas to teach is the short game. And the reason being is with a few small adjustments, you can radically change the quality and consistency of your impact and the end result. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the big differences that I see that pros make relative to recreational golfers that hopefully you can take on, make some adjustments, and then improve your short game as well. So starting with the setup, error number one would be setting up to the golf ball with too much tension, arms too straight, legs too straight, toes too straight on, and when you do this, you build up a lot of tension up through your upper body, and it's gonna make it very challenging to have any feel or finesse around the greens. It's gonna limit your ability to rotate correctly, and you're gonna hit some poor shots as a result. So key number one, I want you to loosen up. I want you to feel like your knees are a lot softer. Grab the golf club in your hands. Move that golf club back and towards yourself, pumping those arms, waggle that club head around. Feel like your whole shoulders and your chest, they're very relaxed throughout this motion, especially when you put that club down into the ground. Looks very different from this very stiff, rigid position that I see a lot of players get themselves into. So once again, key number one, let's loosen up. Waggle that club head, pump those arms, soften those knees. All these things are gonna help you generate a little bit more feel around the greens. Error number two, a handle which is too far forward at address. Now when you do this and you push this handle forward, what happens is the golf club is de-lofted and you expose what's called the leading edge of the golf club. Now when you do this, this is the part of the golf club which is gonna stop and dig and stick into the ground and it's gonna to lead to a lot of fat shots and where you duff it and the ball just finishes just in front. So error number two that you need to eliminate out of your short game is to get the handle from a forward position more so neutral. A good little reference point is that we want to see the end of the golf club pointing towards the belt buckle. When you do this, it's going to encourage the golf club to glide through that grass a lot easier rather than sticking that leading edge into the ground. It's also going to help you use the back end of this golf club and that stops it from digging. So number one, let's get nice and loose. Number two, let's get this handle pointing a little bit more towards the center line of your body. And number three is all about where we finish. If you can make a follow through without making a backswing and you'll see that my hips, my chest, my club is pointing in the direction in which I want that ball to go, well, that would be a good reference point for you to be in. Far too often, I'll see players finish with their chest facing down towards the ball and their arms pulling and folding around the body and that's gonna to lead to a lot of inconsistent shots. Effectively, what it means is that you're not reacting and moving towards the target. You're too focused down on the golf ball and you're neglecting the actual outcome that you want to achieve. So when you put it all together, you're a lot softer through the arms, the wrists, the knees. You've got the handle a little bit more towards the center line of your body. And then when you make a follow through, let's really just focus on getting the chest, the belt buckle, and the end of the golf club pointing in the direction in which we want that golf ball to go. So by combining these three little key moves, it's gonna eliminate a lot of the errors that I see recreational golfers make. It's gonna loosen you up, it's gonna encourage you to use the bounce of the golf club a little bit more, and it's also gonna help you build a consistent feel for trying to get some distance control. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Comment below if you've got any questions. I'd love to help you out individually. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.